Now, once we understand how to create a simple API using Node, let's back to the front end and let me show you how we can use that API in React application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this server folder and inside this source, we can notice I have my front end. I'm going to open the component and pages folder and inside that we have the register JS file. And let me first start the development server. So I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say npm start. This command is going to start my backend server as well as my frontend development server. You can notice. Let me close this terminal. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first open my register page. So I'm going to head on to register. Now what I want, I want to get all this input text boxes values. As you know, when we make a request to the register route in the server, we need some values. What I'm going to do is instead of passing values using postman, we're going to pass values of this input text boxes. So we're going to make a post request on register route and pass this input values. So let me first show you how you can get these input values. So I'm going to open the register.js and inside it, I'm going to get these input values. So I'm going to first import a function called use state. Using this use state hook, we're going to create a state inside this functional component. There are two type of component in React a class component and a functional component. We have here a functional component. That is why to use state inside this functional component, we need a hook called use state. So inside this register right down here, I'm going to create a variable constant in the array. I'm going to say username and then I'm going to specify here set username method. Now this function is going to specify value to this username variable. We already learned basic about use state in the React tutorials. So just out of that, here I'm going to specify equal to sign and then specify here use state. And here inside this parenthesis, I'm going to specify double quote. This means the initial value of this username is empty string. Now just out of that, as you know, inside this registration form, we have the username, email, password and verify password. I'm going to create all that variables here inside this file. So I'm going to simply say here constant in the array, I'm going to specify email and set email is equal to then I'm going to call here use state hook and in the parenthesis I'm going to specify double quote the initial value of this variable then I'm going to say here constant in the array I'm going to say password specify here comma and say set password is equal to use state and pass here default value just after that I'm going to say constant password check and then I'm going to say here set password check is equal to use state. Don't forget to specify initial values to these variables. Now as you can see I have four input text boxes. I'm going to store all these values in these four variables. Just out of that when I click on the register button I want to get all the values of these input text boxes and display that in the console. We're going to display all these values in the console for now. Later, we're going to get the value from this input text box and store that in the MongoDB database. But just for now, let's get all these values and print that in the console. So just down here, I'm going to create an event handler for this button. So here I'm going to create a comment and say on form submit click handler or you can say click event. Just out of that, I'm going to say here constant handle submit is equal to that I'm going to specify here event parameter and then I'm going to specify here a function. You can notice how easy it is to create an event handler inside react application. Now, I'm using event handler parameter to this handler function because I'm going to just prevent the default execution of this button. That is why I use here event parameter. Let me show you what I want to say. Here I'm going to just add a statement called event dot prevent default just like this. Now this statement is going to prevent the default behavior of this button. Just out of that, here I'm going to simply create a constant variable with the name new user is equal to, and then I'm going to pass here an object. Inside this object, I'm going to pass these values. So here I'm going to say username, then I'm going to specify here email, password, and then I'm going to specify password check. Just out of that, I'm going to just print this variable. So I'm going to say here console.log and I'm going to say here new user. So when we click on this button, I want to print these values. Just for that, 
we need to call this handler when we click on this button but as you know we don't have this button and this input text boxes inside this file we have here a component called register form and inside that we have all this input text boxes and this button so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an object and pass all these values to this component so this component can access all these variables and pass value to it so just down here before this return i'm going to create a variable let register data is equal to and pass here an object inside this object i'm going to simply say handle submit i'm going to pass this event and just for that i'm going to pass these functions as you know using these functions we can pass values to these variables so i'm going to specify all these functions inside this object so here i'm going to simply say set username then i'm going to say set email then i'm going to say here set password and set check password now i can specify this data to this register component and use that in my registration form let me show you how you can do it i'm going to just create a property here to this register component here i'm going to create a property and i'm going to name that property register state is equal to specify curly braces and then i'm going to specify here this variable register data just like this and now i can access all these properties inside this registration form so i'm going to open this file as you can see inside my imports i have this file register.jsx i'm going to open that and inside this file i'm going to access all these variables so what you need to do is if you want to access the property of the component you need to pass a parameter to this component you need to say here props using this props you can access this property value so i'm going to specify here props and inside this function before this return statement at the top here i'm going to say let in the curly braces here i'm going to destructure all these variables this one so inside these curly braces i'm going to simply say handle submit then i'm going to specify all these variables so let me just copy it and specify that here just like this and just for that we're going to get all these values from the properties so i'm going to specify here equal to sign and specify here props dot and as you know to this component we have here a property called register state i'm going to specify that here just like this so we're going to just destructure all the properties this one inside this variable once i get all these properties i can specify value to these variables to do that just back to your registration form inside your registration form here i have my username input text box to this input text box you need to pass an event so i'm going to just call here an event as an attribute to this input text box and here i'm going to specify an event call on change so whenever you type anything inside this text box this event will automatically fire and when this event fire i'm going to specify the handler function to this event so when this event fire it's going to execute the handler function so inside a curly braces here i'm going to specify the handler function so i'm going to create a simple inline handler function here so i'm going to first specify parameter to this function so i'm going to specify here e then specify here an arrow and then i'm going to specify here my function this one set username as you know we are using this function to specify value to these variables you can notice here so inside this registration form here i'm going to specify set username and in the parenthesis i'm going to simply say e dot target dot value now let me explain this statement when we type anything inside the text box we're going to execute this on change event and this event is going to execute this handler function inside this handler function i'm going to pass e parameter the event parameter and then i'm going to specify here a function set username this function is going to specify value to the to the state variable inside this parameter i'm going to specify e means event dot target target means the targeted input element dot value i'm going to get the value of the input text box and pass that to the set username so once we get that value i'm going to specify that value to this state variable so once you specify value to this set name it's going to specify that value to this state variable as simple as that i'm going to do the same for all my input text boxes 
So I'm going to copy this event and to this email, you will notice right down here, I'm going to paste that event just like this. And instead of this set username, this time I'm going to say set email. Do the same for this password as well. So I'm going to paste the event again. And instead of set username, this time I'm going to say set password. And as you know, we have here password check. So here I'm going to specify on change event and specify here set password check. As simple as that, right? Just for that, you don't have to do anything with this button. You need to submit the data when you click on this button. So you need to create on submit event to this form. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to create an event on submit is equal to and then in the curly braces, I'm going to pass my handler function, which is handle submit. So here I'm going to simply say handle submit just like this. I'm going to pass this variable to this on submit event. So when you click on the register button, it will execute this handle submit handler function. Let me save this file back to the register and save this file as well. Now, let me just specify value to this input text boxes. Here I'm going to specify admin, admin at the rate gmail.com. Password is going to be 123 and 123. When I click on the register, you can notice I'm going to get all these values in my console. So now I can use this value and pass that to the register post HTTP method and store all these values inside a MongoDB database. Now, I hope you understand how to get all these values from the input text boxes and display them one by one inside the console. Next, I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing with a login form.